From the heartland of America to every nation on Earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello, friends, and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. And of course, he will be giving us global headlines and explaining them in the light of God's Word. Oh my, oh my. But before we get into all the global headlines that we've chosen today, I just want to say thank you for all the hundreds of cards that came in for his birthday. And, Two thousand, uh, honey. Oh yes, I yeah. know it. I know. And one I just sort of pulled as I came over. I wanted you to see this. And it goes like this, and I think it'll kind of bring a smile to your face, too. It's from our, our CEO, uh, Dr. Ken Bansell, and it goes like this. Do you know what happened on your birthday in 1564? Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Going on. Don't worry if you don't. You couldn't have been much more than a baby then. Happy birthday. <laughs> I love that, Jack. Well, a I, baby in 1564. That old goat's as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I promise God that I'm going to preach to the end. In two years from this birthday, I will be 90. And I told the Lord, as long as there's one man left on earth who does not know Jesus, I will not quit or resign. I'm going to preach till my last breath that Jesus saves for our commanded in Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And I've got news for you. We're going to tell you the most exciting thing that happens. We're going to preach that Christ could come at any moment. Stay tuned for this great message. And by the way, from now on, I will not be preaching sermons. I'll tell you why in upcoming programs. I am going to deal with all of the shocking news events of the world to prove that Christ is about to return Amen. to our generation. We'll not know the day and the hour. We'll know when it's near, even at the door. The day we're raptured, there's a seven-year war, 2,580 days back. We return with Christ after 2,580 days, seven years, to set up the glorious kingdom of heaven on earth. And it's all going to be reported in the next two weeks. Well, when thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. But before we get uh, any farther into the program, I just want to say that we were shocked because uh, Jack got out something that we thought had been destroyed and someone sent it to us. And it's wonderful, the coming war with Russia. Now, you know, it is a CD. And he preached this like about 60 years ago. In fact, that's the first message I ever heard him preach. He came to a church, and I was singing at that church. And I thought, oh, my. Not only is he handsome, but he's pretty smart there. But he anyway, <laughs> he gave this wonderful, wonderful message, the coming war with Russia. And I thought, my word, what is that all about? Well, someone sent us the message the coming war with Russia. It is astounding because it is up to date. It's proving, the headlines are proving everything he said would happen just prior to the return of the Lord would be here. And it's here, friends. We're going to prove it to you today. And you read the word there, the coming war with who? Russia. Well, Russia is in the headlines all the time now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've had a long and glorious ministry, starting with Billy Graham at just 18 years of age. And oh, he became a father of me, one of the greatest evangelists who ever lived. But let me tell you something. Billy Graham heard me and he said, you have a gift to preach. I want you to get started. I'm going to put you in every Youth for Christ rally in America. And he did. I worked my way through college with the offerings that came from those rallies. Worked my way through college, kept working, got 16 doctor's degrees over the years. 
I do know my Bible. I've memorized this book from cover to cover. I've read it 40 times. And so I know what I'm talking about. You're going to hear the most shocking message you've ever heard. If you turn this off, you're going to be regret regretting when you hear what I've heard. And I agree with that 100%, Jack, because this program is so very, very important to the day and age in which we're living. I didn't believe some of the headlines that Jack gave to me. Well, number one, the coming war with Russia. Russia, is Russia building to be the leader of the world? Putin's big move back into the Middle East. Uh, he is cultivating new partnerships. Right there is one, including the key to U.S. allies. Going on. A new nuclear arms race once again. Uh-oh, he cheated. And Russia says it will mirror addition of missiles by the United States. I mean, you can't get ahead of me. I'm going to stay up with you and even beyond. Putin's plan to slowly reclaim Russia's lost empire. Well, you know, they have been behind. But he is going ahead. He wants to reclaim everything. Russian military successfully test fires new interceptor missile. Everything is oh, Russia. My, yes, oh, Jack. Excel. Everything is Russia, Russia. U.S. slams Russia over missile treaty. They're saying, good night. You're not keeping the treaty that we have. And here we go on. This is why Russia to develop new missile systems in two years after the treaty all right, pull out. They did it. U.S. calls on Russia to destroy new missile system. They see what they're doing. We're very, very concerned. Russia says range of disputed missile is allowed under the INF Treaty. We can do this. We're allowed to do this. That's what Putin says. NATO, Russia to hold talks amid missile treaty crisis. And, you know, NATO is very concerned, too. Going on, Russia's new hypersonic nuclear weapon. It's brand new, something that has never been done before. Russia ready to design new super heavy rocket, says Rogozin. And oh my, you know what? I just got something in the paper before I came here to the studio. Putin says Russia's new nuclear weapons cannot be intercepted. Can you believe that one? No matter what we put up there, you can't get it. Nobody can reach it. That's our plan. Jack, do you believe that Russia is going to be the... Now, I heard him preach a message, you know, all those many years ago, the coming war with Russia, of course. Do you believe that Russia is going to fulfill what they want to do and be number one in the world and that there's going to be a war? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been having unusual experiences with the Holy Trinity. August the 13th, it was four in the morning. I heard noise. And a voice said, I'm the third member of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. What? You can't see me. In 1 Peter 121 says, holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. This whole book was written by me as I breathed upon men, moved upon men, and I've come here to tell you this. Because you've been so faithful in memorizing the entire Bible and reading it 40 times, the Father sent me to say you have been appointed. And I, the Holy Spirit, say, and anointed by me to tell the world that Jesus is about to come. It's at the door. Oh, no one knows the day and the hour, but you will know, will know when it's near, how near, even at the door. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here. Quit playing church. Quit fooling around. Quit running to the booze joints and all the rotten movie houses and the core houses and all the rest. Get right with God. You're going to meet Jesus. I am here, after preaching 74 years, to say we're the generation. We are going to see Jesus maybe in the next year. That's in the Bible. Ezekiel 38 and 39 is what I preached. And lest you think I'm making it up by some fake quote, I'm going to read it right from the book. Ezekiel 38, son of man, set your face against Gog. 
the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Gog is the end time ruler. Right now it's Putin. Chief is the word for Rosh. That's what we got it from. Rosh, and it made it chief. The Rosh prince of Meshach and Tubal. Meshach, original, Meshach, Bosach, Moscovy, Moscow. Tubal, southwest of Siberia. Are you ready? Oh. What says the Lord God to them? I am against the Gog, the Russian prince of Moscow and Tobolsk, and I'll turn you back and leave, but the sixth part of the five, six of their armies are going to fall, 200 million. It's going to take seven months to bury them, and it'll be a river of blood in Israel. That's next week. So that's where the war is going to take place. Seven months to bury the dead. And Jesus Christ has us in heaven. We're going to be scared from it, Christian. Are you listening? He says, I will keep you from out of the hour of judgment that's coming on the whole world. World War III. A bloody nuclear war. What? Psalm 97, 3, Isaiah 6, 6, 15. Ezekiel 20, 48. Joel chapter 2, verses 3 and 30. Zephaniah 1.18, on and on and on. Scores of verses. It's going to be atomic. But Rexella? Yes. We're going to be gone. Yes, amen. Oh, we got all these great jets now and missiles. and How can we be safe? Do you know how far the third heaven is? There's the atmosphere, the stratosphere, and the aesphere. I got this proof. I've studied it. I've drawn it out. And I can give you all the proof I need to give you. The third heaven is exactly 187 trillion billions of miles. Nobody's going to hurt us. And we're on that side getting our rewards, the crowns, the runner's round for living the life. The shepherd's crown for having a heart to win people to Christ. The soul winner's crown. Think of it. When you stand there and you say, have you won any souls? And you say, not one. Were you giving tithes and offerings to men like Jan MP to win souls who's won seven million before he was 74 years of age? And then there's the sufferer's crown. Boy, I'll never get that one. I've been through everything. For five years, I couldn't preach anymore. First of all, it started with two broken legs replaced, then 65 treatments for cancer, then a heart attack. They opened it to put in stents, and the aortic valve was corrupted. They said he only has two hours left to live. Three days, three times, I lay there with two hours left to live. This precious little girl, give me your hand, sweetheart. Oh, Jack. The doctor said you're alive because of her. She came and sat by you every day, five hours a day for 80 days. <laughs> and then they shipped me home, and I still didn't know where I was for another 60 days, 140 days unconscious. And they said, he'll never preach again. The mind is finished. After six weeks, I said, Rexella, Rexella, praise God. All the verses have come back, but I don't know the numbers anymore. I've memorized, Amen. you know, thousands of verses, and I have 42,000 numbers memorized, but I couldn't tell where they were. So Billy Graham, and he said, just say, the Bible says, the Bible says. Amen. <laughs> but listen to this, all right. Here's the rest of this war. I am against Seagog. The Russian prince of Moscow to Bols, I'll turn you back, leave but the sixth part of thee. I will bring you forth and all thine armies and horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. 
Persia, Ethiopia, Libya. Go over to Turkey. That's Germany. To Garma, that's Turkey. Many people with thee. And it's going to be the biggest slaughter as they look down. And then Christ comes. The return of Christ to the earth. That's the second coming, not the rapture. We go up there. Seven years later, we come down. Okay. And we've got our rewards. And we, as Christians, have to bury a dead for seven months and clean up hundreds of miles of blood. What a war. But we were not here. We come back now. And what's he coming back for? To sit up the glorious kingdom of heaven on earth forever. It's all to happen in your lifetime. Quit playing church. Stand behind Rexel and me. Let us keep reaching every human being. I want to reach them and win them. You know that by the time we have that kingdom here, 144,000 saved Jews that come back from heaven with Christ, plus all the believers who are there, come back in a ship that's 1,500 miles wide, long and high, 1,500s into the space. And what happens? It's the greatest revival in history. All Israel shall be saved, every Jew. Everyone on earth shall be saved. All the ones that have been waiting in Hades are transferred to Gehenna, the eternal penitentiary, the lake of fire. <clears throat> no more hope for them, but all the rest of the world saved. And now we got a world of Christians, 100%. And it's happening in your lifetime. Oh, yeah. go on. Okay, Jack. It now, is happening in our me, lifetime. Yeah. I want to just uh, get, uh, kind of back up here just a little bit, Jack, and say uh, Russia's not going to march alone. She's not going to do all this uh, war by herself. Who's going to join with Russia to come down and to take Israel? That's oh, Rex, how they're going to hear the names I've already quoted. All right, yeah. here we go. I would like for you to just take a look at some of these headlines. U.S. calls for Russian Chinese. Uh-oh, China, nuclear transparency. Take a look, please, at this. Very important. The new Beijing, Moscow, access. They are coming together. And then U.S. officials cite alignment of Moscow, Beijing, as a threat. We're saying they are a threat. They're coming together. That was Going. just last month's headlines, Wall Street Journal. Yes. China tests its own mother of all bombs. Well, she's not letting anybody get ahead of her. U.S. Senator warns China's preparing for World War III. Oh, my. And former U.S. Europe commander warns of likely war with China. Well, there you got it. They've already named Russia. Now they're naming China. Chinese Russian anti uh, satellite tech puts U.S. space access at risk. Wow. And then in space, the U.S. sees a rival in China. <laughs> Not only Russia, China. U.S. tells China to remove missile systems in South China Sea. And then once again, study. Here's another country. Huh, we're, trying, we're trying to make peace with them, but North Korea pursuing biochemical weapons that could wipe out all of humanity. The bloodiest war in history. New report exposes undeclared North Korean missile base. And United Nations experts say North Korea shielding missiles at airports. I mean, oh, I could go on and on. Evidence of ongoing operations at North Korea nuclear. Hey, there you see it. The nuclear facility. They've got it, too. And our vice president, U.S. ready for any eventuality on North Korea. They're well, gonna march, we're going to march against them. Here's another one, Jack, that's joining with them. Trump's Syria turnabout is a trust breaker and a death sentence for U.S. allies. You know, Syria is going to go along with Russia and China. And so is Turkey also, mentioned right there. Yes, and Turkey, Jack. That's the Garma. Absolutely. And uh, Jack, somebody else, uh, if you want to explain this very, very quickly, our time just slips away so fast. I'm going to go on with the headline here, another country that joins with them, okay? Yes. And that is uh, a headline that you are recognizing. Top Iran, Russia officials discuss critical situation of today's world. Well, we all know about uh, Iran. Iran's Rouhani 
demands Muslims unite to fight who? U.S. and cancerous tumor Israel. I'm going to stop there. Yep. I'm going to stop there because there you see the army. Russia, China, Iran, and Turkey, and Syria, they're all joining together, coming down to invade Israel. And why? Because Israel is worth so much. It's a very wealthy country. And they hate the Jews because God loves the Jews. So that's yep. next week's program. We've got 50 headlines just on that war. It's all here, ladies and gentlemen. I can't preach with enough fervor to warn you. You're going to see the same headline soon. Christ has arrived to set up the kingdom. And the greatest war has just been finished in Israel and America has won. And the Christ has set up his kingdom, not in Rome. Christ comes back and says, I'm going to set up my kingdom in Jerusalem because I'm going to give Israel, everlasting name. You'll hear all that next week. All the verses on Israel. Yes, and you know, Jack, not only are those countries going to join together, but you've said this over and over. Uh, there's a country that surprised me, but they've had so many uh, come into the country and they're taking over, and that's the country of Germany. Oh, my, oh, my, Germany is... I'm breaking my heart. Germany urges Russia to destroy missile to save nuclear treaties. Oh, let me oh. stop there for yeah. a second, Rex Ellis. Right. But they're taking Adolf Schickelgruber hated the Jews and he killed six million and then had all our bodies buried in Poland so they'd get the blame to the dirty or rotten hypocrite that is burning on hell like no one has before. Adolf Hitler. A Jew hater along with Haman and even the Palestinians. You are Christians. You hate the Jews. God forgive you. Next week, I'm going to show you how much God loves the Jew. He says, they are my fiance. And I'm going to give them an everlasting name. How is he going to give them an everlasting name next week? You're going to hear what that name is. All right, Jack, and next week we are going to be talking about Israel very, very much. But who's going to be on the side of Israel? Are we, the United States and all of Europe, going to be on the other side, U.S. Army to buy two Israeli uh, Iron Dome air defense systems? We very much are on their side. In fact, you know, we're the first ones to move our embassy to Jerusalem uh, from Thank you, Tel Aviv. President. Yes, and Trump. Trump, absolutely. He's got some sense, whether you dummies believe it or not. All right, now. <laughs> We're going to be coming to something here that's very, very important. Jack pointed it out. Jack, just very quickly, if you'll tell us who is going to win, but we'll zero in on that much, much more next week. The United States with Israel and this army coming down, it's all happening right now, friends. We need to be ready. You need to all say, Lord, if you came, uh, even today, maybe I'll have an accident. That can happen. Maybe I'll have something happen to me outside of a war. That could happen. So we need to know that we're ready to meet the Lord one day. Are you ready? Jack, we need to be ready, don't we? Oh, yes, Rex. The Lord Jesus is about to come back. He said, if I go away, I will come again. For one reason, here it is. The Judeo-Christian eternal new world order is about to be set up as Christ arrives. And it's going to be, oh, believers, it's going to be the greatest place on earth. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, controlled by the Holy Spirit. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Here's how you get ready. 800 times the Bible says Jesus dying on that cross and shedding the blood is the only way. So pray it, Father. I believe what I've heard today. Jesus, you're about to come. I'm not ready. I trust what you did at Calvary's cross when you shed that blood for the remission of all my sin. And right this moment, Jesus, I receive you. I become ready for the greatest hour in history, the coming of the Savior, to call us home in the twinkle of an eye. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, friends, if you prayed that prayer, would you please write to me? 
I would love to hear from you, and I will send you for steps in a new direction. It will help you in that new walk with the Lord. Perhaps you're having a difficult time now. Most places that I go now and talk to people, they are having a difficult time. But when you have Christ in your heart, you're not alone. How wonderful it is to have him in your heart walking with you every day. I'll send this to you. Let me hear from you, please. So really uh, write to me and I will write back and send you first steps in a new direction. We'll be pleased to send you a copy of First Steps in a New Direction absolutely free if you'll simply write us and ask for it. Our mailing address is Jack Vanity Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. Remember to ask for your free copy of the booklet First Steps when you write. And now you know, friends, everything we've been talking about today is very, very significant, and we want you to have it. You can get this, that wonderful, wonderful CD, The Coming War with Russia. Jack preaches on here like you'll never, never heard him preach before. It's just wonderful. And we're going to be also sending a couple of our programs, today's program and next week's program, and it will enlighten you even more as you listen to them together. And uh, how wonderful it is to know that although there's going to be a coming war with Russia, that uh, the Bible has the answers. And uh, we want you to have them all put together so that you won't be mixed up as you read the newspapers. You'll know that the Lord is the answer. So here's our announcer to tell you exactly how you can receive it. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. Oh, my friend, to order. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 24 hours a day, 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $29.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $29.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now, once again, here's Rexella. Thank you, Chuck, and don't put it off. Let us hear from you this week. The headlines are all about what we've done today on the coming war with Russia. So make the call right away. We'll get this in the mail or write to us as soon as we hear from you. We'll get it in the mail. Oh, friends, where in the world do we look? <laughs> Can't look in the newspaper anymore. We'll get discouraged. I love this saying. Life's best outlook is a prayerful up look. Always keep your eyes on the Lord because he is there for you. I trust that we'll look forward to being your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.